Today in History 18th of March, 1899, Mysterious and Foggy, Harvard College Observatory, Cambridge, United States. Dear Diary, Guess what happened today? It was super exciting. We discovered a moon of Saturn called Phoebe. Can you believe it? I was there at the Harvard College Observatory when they announced the big news. I felt like a real explorer, discovering something new in space. So, here's what happened. This clever scientist named William Henry Pickering took special pictures of the night sky using a huge telescope called the 24-inch Bruce Telescope. He did this back in August last year, in 1898. And today, on March 18, 1899, he finally announced that he found Phoebe. What a cool name, right? Phoebe is not just any regular moon. It's an irregularly shaped moon with a retrograde orbit. That means it orbits Saturn in a different direction than most other moons, which confused the astronomers. It's like Phoebe wanted to stand out from the others. With a diameter of about 213 kilometers, it's the second largest moon of Saturn after Titan. I couldn't help but imagine what life would be like on Phoebe. Maybe there are aliens up there having their own adventures. It made me feel so small and made me wonder about the vastness of the universe. It's incredible how much we still have to explore out there. I remember Professor Johnson, who works at the observatory, got all teary-eyed when they made the announcement. He was so proud that our team made this amazing discovery. He told us that finding Phoebe using photographs was a big deal. It opened up new ways to study and understand the moons and planets in our solar system. I think this discovery will be remembered for a long time. Scientists will study Phoebe to learn more about how moons and planets are formed. Who knows? Maybe one day people will even visit Phoebe. It's like the beginning of a great adventure. I can't wait to tell my friends at school about this incredible day. They will be so amazed. Today was a reminder that there are so many wonders waiting to be discovered right here in our own galaxy.